Hello friends and uh, welcome back to our channel Accounts Made Easy. In this video we are going to continue with our same topic of marginal costing. Um, in the earlier couple of videos we have learned the formulas and a few questions. In this particular video we are going to continue with a few more examples. Let's start with our next question that's question number 5. Um, it says what would be the volume of sales to derive a profit of 20,000? If the PV ratio is 66.67% and the fixed overhead for the period is 40,000. All right. Now, 66.67%, uh, a lot of times also called as 66 2 by 3 percent. Okay. What we need to find here is actually just the required sales. And I hope uh, we all remember the formula for required sales that is fixed cost plus desired profit and this needs to be divided now remember we can divide it by either our PV ratio or with contribution per unit however in this question they have given us PV ratio ready made obviously if something is given we are going to work on that so we divide it by our PV ratio to get our required sales okay so now let's look at the formula and try to implement the available information. Our fixed cost given to us in the question is 40,000. The word used by them is of course fixed overhead and then they have also given us a profit which we desire to earn that is 20,000. Okay, so we have got this information. After this what they have said is a PV ratio of 66 2 by 3 I repeat the PV ratio of 66 2 by 3 that's also commonly called as 66.67 percent so what we get is we will have to calculate it as 60,000 divided by 66.67 percent and when we do it the answer that we get is rupees 90,000 Okay, now what happens is this 90,000 becomes our required sales in value or rupees because that's the available information in the given question. So that's what we will be doing it and uh, this is our answer 90,000. Our question number 5 is done. I hope you have understood this. Let's proceed to the next one question number 6. Let's read what it says. It says the following data is given, fixed expenses rupees 10 lakh, uh, there's a little typo error here, let me just change that, it's not a full stop, it's a comma, it's 10 lakh, we have variable expenses at rupees 10 per unit, then we have selling price at rupees 15 per unit and then what we need to find, first a break even, second desired sale to earn a profit of 10,000 and then a third one. Additional units would be necessary to increase the above profit. When we say above profit, this 10,000 profit by another 5,000. Okay, so to start with obviously the first and the foremost thing that we need to do in this kind of a question is calculate contribution. Contribution will be equal to our sales minus variable cost okay we all know this so let's check what's the value of our sales given to us rupees 15 and our variable cost is rupees 10 so how much are we getting our contribution exactly 5 rupees per unit is our contribution what we have done is we have calculated our contribution now based on this let's calculate the first answer what we need to find first BEP okay now because we have the information of contribution we are going to find BEP in units and not in rupees okay now 
formula for BEP, I am sure we are all aware about it. It is fixed cost which needs to be divided by contribution per unit. Okay, so fixed cost given to us in the question is 10 lakh. And contribution per unit, we have just now got it at rupees 5. So the answer that we are looking for our BEP is going to be 2 lakh units. Right? So we have got our first answer. The first part, calculating BEP is done. We have calculated our BEP. Now we need to go for the next part. Now what we will do is, let's do it on the right hand side here so that you can see the whole answer together. Let's find the next one now. The second one where we need to find a sales to earn a profit of rupees 10,000. Guys, exactly similar to what we have done in the previous question. What we need now is the required sales. And we all remember the formula for required sales. Okay. The formula is, sorry, fixed cost plus desired profit. And this needs to be divided by contribution per unit. Now remember in this question we have not found PV ratio. So we are just trying to calculate everything in units. Okay. Uh, even here the required sales we are going to find it in units. So let's just do this. Let's try to calculate the answer. The fixed cost given to us in the question is 10 lakh. This we will have to divide it by contribution per unit which we have just now calculated at 5. Oh, okay. This 10 lakh is then to be added with desired profit of 10,000 and then we divide this by 5 rupees. So what are we getting the answer? The answer for this is going to be 2 lakh 2,000 units. Okay, this will be our answer. Rather, what we'll do is we'll just take this and let's write this here. Okay, the reason why I've done it is we should be able to see the whole answer on the same screen. We will try and get this done. Now, let's do the third calculation, the third information, which is something very important for us to understand. Let's look what it says. What additional units would be necessary to increase the above profit? Guys, understand. We have already got a profit of 10,000 that we are supposed to increase by another 5,000. So what we are supposed to do? Additional sales required for additional profit. Okay. Now. This is a little smart, little tricky job that you people need to understand. See, if I'm earning a profit, that means my sales is beyond my break-even point, which also means that all my fixed costs are already recovered. So, if your sales are beyond your break-even point, your contribution per unit becomes your profit per unit. So, this is one thing that you people need to remember that your contribution per unit is going to be equal to your profit per unit okay now let's have a look at this and it will be the formula will be very simple additional profit will be divided by contribution per unit guys you people need to understand this it is going to be additional profit which will be divided by our contribution per unit. Okay. Now, the additional profit required is how much? 5,000. And the contribution per unit is just 5 rupees. So, again, we need to understand 
that what we are doing is a very simple common sense mathematical calculation and the answer that we get is 1000 units okay now let's get this here written as 1000 units and that's our answer we have solved this complete question I have tried to show you all the three solutions on the screen at the same time so everyone can just have a look at this the most important part in this question was this part guys understand post your break even every additional unit that you sell the contribution earned is equal to your profit and this is going to help you solve a lot of questions because up to break even we have already recovered our fixed cost okay I hope everyone's got this let's move to the next question let's read question number seven it says from the following data calculate BEP let's calculate our BEP but then for oops sorry so but for us to calculate break even point first let's write the formula break even point we can calculate in two ways either we can calculate it in units or in rupees because most of the numbers are in rupees let's do it in rupees okay so the formula would become fixed cost by contribution per unit okay now what is the fixed cost given to us we don't know that but we know one thing that the information can be calculated I mean sorry yeah fixed cost 20,000 is already given to us it becomes more easier contribution let's calculate this so contribution will be equal to uh, anyone remembers the formula exactly it is sales minus variable cost but look at the question carefully we don't have information about variable cost ready-made let's calculate variable cost here you need to remember all this direct 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 every expense which is a direct expense is a variable expense so if I want to calculate my variable cost I will just have to get the sum of all my direct expenses which is direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses plus they have also given me variable overheads I need to even add that okay now let's put the figures here my direct material is 8 plus my direct labor is 2 plus direct expenses 2 plus direct uh, variable over it is 3 which gives us the total value as 15 rupees of variable cost per unit that's it guys we have got this now question becomes very easy so now we can say that contribution is equal to 20 which is our selling price minus 15 which is our variable cost which will be equal to rupees 5 per unit okay we have got our contribution one part is done after we get the contribution let's come to the right side of the screen this side after we have calculated contribution what we need is we need to find our break-even point let's do that our break-even point would be equal to now the formula is written just right here on the left hand side so let's just simply put the figures fixed cost given to us is 20,000 which needs to be divided by contribution per unit which is 5 so what we get is 4,000 units we have got our contribution at 4,000 units which is equal to 4,000 units now our one job is done we have calculated our BEP step 1 over let's see what it says in step 2 if sales are 20% above break even determine net profit simple first let's calculate sales is equal to 
they are saying 20% above break even. Our break even is 4000 plus it will be 20% of 4000. Okay, which means our sales are going to be 4800 units. We have got this. We have got our sales. Now what we need? Profit. Guys, simple. A few people remember. Just in the previous question I told you that whenever our sales are beyond our BEP, in that case, what we always get is the contribution per unit becomes profit per unit. Here, what we have is an additional sales of 8000 units, which means we can write here profit is equal to sales okay let's put this in bracket sales minus BE sales which is to be multiplied by contribution per unit and we get the answer our actual sales are 4800 minus our BE sales which are 4000 this is to be multiplied by 5 which is our contribution per unit. So what do we get? We get 800 multiplied by 5 and that's our answer. Okay, this is our answer. Rupees 4000. Uh, okay, uh, typo error here. rupees 4000 that's our answer for the part 2 of this question which is the profit that we need to earn if our sales are beyond break even sales by 20% we will earn a profit of rupees 40000 so that's it guys uh, i think this question is done and uh, you people have understood it the complete question along with the answer is there on the screen what we do is, that's all that we do in today's class. In next class, we'll be discussing a few more questions on marginal costing. And I think that would be the last class for marginal costing. Till then, thank you guys. Take care.